Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot update video here on the channel. Today, they have added the brand new item called the Crafter. This is an auto-crafting item that you would think you'd be in modded Minecraft for, but this is making its way to vanilla Minecraft, and it has a very simple feature that you can expect based on the name itself. It auto-crafts items for you. So today, we're going to show a few examples of what it can do and exactly what the Snapshot's all about. So if you guys have been enjoying the Minecraft Snapshot update videos on the channel, leave a like on this one, subscribe if you're new and let's hop right into this so this is snapshot version 23w42a and remember guys if you're creating a snapshot world you have to enable experiments and enable all the features for 1.21 Otherwise, you will not be able to use these items even if you are in the newest snapshot update. I found that the hard way when I was setting up this world. So this is the crafter. It does not have a recipe at the moment. I checked my recipe book in survival mode and it didn't unlock anything. So I'm sure they will invent a recipe for this in the future. But this crafter essentially has the ability for you to interact with it. Multiple players can interact with it. In fact, similar to chests and hoppers. And you can sort of build your own crafting recipe as you so desire. So anything that you know how to craft, let's say you wanted to craft I don't know something simple like a button you put it in here like any crafting grid and you can as you can see not actually take out the item but it will save the recipe as so once you have the recipe as you so desire let's say you wanted a crafting table you simply need to apply a redstone signal like a lever and voila it plops out what you desire and as long as there's items within the inventory it will continuously plop out the item that you need now keep in mind once it runs out the recipe will delete and you will not be able to continuously craft anymore but it's a very simple thing that you can apply a lot of different redstone abilities to it just cannot be a repeated redstone signal like a redstone block otherwise it will just work once and that's it it has to be a repeated redstone signal similar to how the thumbnail in this video shows a little redstone contraption that they posted to give an example of what you can actually make now i recommend using this for things that are very simple like you know a diamond pickaxe something that you can replenish a lot and something that you can just plop out as many times as you possibly need to. And you might be asking yourselves, but Austin, what it, what is useful about this? When am I going to use an auto crafter for things? Well, similar to how people have auto tree farms at this point in Minecraft, you could sort of have an auto pickaxe farm. You could set up a system where you automatically destroy trees, mine them, and then let's say you always needed an iron pickaxe. Well, there you go, or a diamond pickaxe for that matter. It's just a way to sort of organize your items even better. So now you could sort of have a system that automatically always crafts you every item in the game as long as you have items to apply to it. So this is very game breaking in that sense. Now, let's say you wanted to always make diamond blocks. Let's say you constantly mine diamonds so much that you fill them up like this. I have a hopper and a chest filled up with a lot of diamonds to the point where it will always auto fill in this thing. And I'll show you Quickly. so if i spam craft a bunch of blocks you will see that it goes down to 60 here but whenever the hopper refills it it refills one in each slot each time now you might be asking yourselves but what if i remove a slot will it fill that up the answer is yes it will prioritize the slot that is empty the most and fill it in so it gets a little tricky in terms of what you could actually auto do because i tried putting a hopper underneath it and it just spills the items out i'm not sure if there's a way to stop that from happening at the moment but according to the wiki page right now you can apply hopper and chest functionality to it it's just going to be a matter of what your preference is in terms of how to make this thing actually work and i also love the cute little animation of it lighting up and actually like the mouth opening because for some reason when minecraft makes these devices they always draw a little face on the um block itself so it actually looks like it's 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 angry and then it opens its mouth to spew out whatever item it wants at you but either way this is a very cool item that i'm very surprised made its way to vanilla minecraft i'm sure there's been stuff like this in modern minecraft for ages but we now have it in vanilla minecraft or soon will because this is of course a snapshot for the upcoming 1.21 update which is probably going to launch sometime next year i would guess either way though guys let me know what you think about this snapshot and new item of course in the comment section down below keep in mind if you want to play with this item yourself right now you need to be in snapshot version 23w42a and whenever you go to create the new world because you have to be in a new world unless you already have a world with experiments turned on you have to enable experiments enable the 1.21 features and then you will be able to use and mess with around with this item and let me know in the comments down below what you think about it either way i hope to see you all in the next one if you want to see more of these snapshot reviews on the channel leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next video have a great day everyone stay safe goodbye